Okay, today is Thursday. Oh my god, is it July 6th? Should have probably looked at the calendar before I started filming this video. But I am on my way to Victoria to do an update with Dr. Paul Winston since I did my cryo. I did it March 1st. And he wants to see range of motion is, and he kind of wants to take measurements. So I called Dr. Winston's office a couple weeks ago and I said, Hey, I'm coming into Victoria. I would love to do my post op or whatever my follow up. Because he originally asked for me to come three months post, but I was like, Sorry, I kind of live a little farther away from Victoria. Like, I'll come to Victoria when I can. So I made an appointment to see him tomorrow. I know a lot of people. Are very curious about this procedure as I am as well so let's go see Dr. Winston. I'm just getting ready for my appointment but I just wanted to show you. So before the cryo I lived in Edmonton and in Edmonton I did quite a few surgeries because that's kind of what they were throwing at me. They were like oh we can do surgery or you know you keep getting Botox every three months. But anyone who gets Botox oh, they know that it takes two weeks to kick in and then in that like in that short time, you have to do a lot of physio and a lot of movements and everything to strengthen that muscle that's beside the muscle that has been injected with Botox, right? So I was kind of like, yeah, sure, let's do surgery. Let's see what it's like. So I actually got, and this has nothing to do with the surgeon that I got it. I actually love her. Like, I wish we were best friends, but um, it just, it, it, it wasn't fitted for me. Maybe it'll work for someone else. But for me personally, it didn't work. So I got a norectomy right here. Can you see that right there? And then I also got it. Oh, you can't really see it, but like, there we go. I got it right there to, to release my fingers. And my fingers are only like this because of the cryo. I tried every option and I'm six years post. So post stroke. So I tried everything that the doctors were throwing at me in Edmonton and when I moved to uh, the island that's when actually my physical therapist was like oh have you ever heard of this treatment and I was like no that's a that's a thing she's like yeah there's a doctor in Victoria that actually offers it and I was like okay I immediately went home I had to call my neurophysiatrist in Edmonton because I didn't have one here on the island I had to call my neurophysiatrist in Edmonton to get a referral to go see Dr. Winston I called for a referral, I want to say maybe in November, and by December like 20th, I had an appointment in January. So I don't know if that'll be for everyone, but it happened for me. So I'm just super thankful and grateful for Dr. Winston and his team for seeing me, and I'm excited for my appointment today. So if you come from the front of the hospital where the main entrance is, you come all the way down this hallway come to the end and go here and it says the first one says outpatient rehab so you go through that door you come here once again rehab medicine dr. Paul Winston come up to this outpatient rehab this way then you come to this and then you go all the way to the end where that guy is sitting. You're gonna do your shoulder flexion first. Okay, do it first and then we'll okay. compare. Yeah. So as far as you can going up. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do that passively now, okay? Okay. Yeah. So passively, I was always able to get like past my head. Yeah. I think you're so you're Last yeah. time we measured it was 150. Okay. And this time it was 170. So that's 20 degrees improvement. So before I was probably like this, passively, and then now I can kind of go back like this, 20 degrees or whatever. Yeah, okay, so now we'll do abduction. Okay. So you're gonna go out to the side, as high as you can go. Around 80 degrees. Okay. Three. Okay, and I've always been able to do things passively. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like I would catch it a little bit, but the catch isn't that bad anymore. So 
then we'll do shoulder, um, like external rotation. Okay. Okay, perfect. Whenever you're ready. Last time it was 20, yeah. Okay, now it's 40. Okay, yeah, so doubled. Okay, cool. Um, That's great. Because, like, people normally can't go past 90. Ah! Obviously, I could. Last time it was 50. So and now I'm at 90? Now wow. you're at 90. Ah. And when you think about your maximum, like us pushing on it was 50. Yeah. And now you, you just doing it by yourself is 40. So only 10 degrees less than what, what someone like, else could yeah. push me to. We'll do elbow extension. Oh, so okay. just straightening it up. We're just measuring the elbow here. Yeah. Like the, yep. Yeah. So that's minus 30. So, well, last time you were at minus 70. Is he get out of the way? Sorry. Sorry. So I was here, or yeah, whatever, right? Right around here. And then after the cryo, I'm all the way like that. That's... Really down there. We'll do your wrist Okay. Now. Do you, so, yeah, her... So, you got 10 degrees improvement when we passively did it. Okay. I'll get you to try this on your own. Okay. Um, can you bring your foot to your bum, keeping it on the table there? Yeah, amazing, as far as you can go. That's great. We're at 80, which is- Okay, not bad, whatever. Push your seat. I think this is as far as I can go. About 145. Okay. Last time you also had a catch. Uh, that seems pretty. Pretty loosey goosey. Yeah. Like, rocking the boat. But, like, also, last time we didn't make it to 145. We made it to one. Oh, really? 25. Mm -hmm. so and I your can... tone was rated a three. I'd rate that a one. Okay. We'll do um, the extension now. Okay. So, and now what you want to try to do is lift your foot as to the ceiling. Okay. Last time, yep. your knee extension was. Your active was at negative 75, and now it's at negative 40. So so that almost doubled. So before it was like this, or like probably even like that. Right, yeah. And now it's like this almost. So, yeah, so if you can imagine, this is zero. Yeah, yeah. And then you go down, this is like negative 40 from that. Okay, yeah. And then you'll go like, right there would be negative 75. Okay, so improve it. Almost doubled. Yeah. You, you've done this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's some pizza here that I can probably have too, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so start um, a little bit further back. So then you can kind of like get your speed up. Get going. And then I'm going to move that chair. Okay. So you lift your arm up. Okay, but just without your help. First. Oh, without okay. my help, yeah. okay. Good. And up to the side. Good. And straighten it out. And open up your fingers. Good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do the same thing. So it's just like literally jello. Jello is the I feel like I should be in Cirque du Soleil. General rotation. Get that ex hyperextension. And these fingers go. Completely back. Now keep it open. Oh my god. I can move it. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then... But like... Oh wow. Yeah, I can do like steep hills now. Like, and like it's so funny that like I can go up a steep hill and actually clear that step instead of just yeah. like doing the hip, hip, hip hike of like swinging my hip out, right? And so like... The first time I did that, I was like, whoa, this is new. Like, yeah. I can actually clear this. Well, I'll tell you, because right. since we did you, yeah. we're doing hamstrings all the time. Because what we realized is we look at everyone. In fact, funny, you're super hypermobile. Yeah. But a lot of people end up being more flexible on the treated side than their oh, really? side. And what we realized, that hamstring pull yeah. keeps you from walking. Yeah. Because the muscle kicks in and you can't extend your legs. So you yeah. can't get a long stride. And it bends your knee. Yeah. So it causes this that kind of difficult knee and then people snap back mm -hmm. because the hamstring kicks in and they get a hyperextension. Yeah. So by treating it, it's so much better. Can you bend your knee up to your waist? And now lift it up to the sky. 
Yeah, that's really good. And down. Yeah, like I'm doing... Turn this one up and straighten it up. Oh, like this? Yeah, straighten it up. Good. And then do that one. Do the Together? Other side. Do the other side. Straighten it up. Good. Yeah. And then do both at the same time. Oh my god! That's... Well, bend, that the, bend, goes... bend the knees first. Oh, I was going to say that. Bend, like... bend both knees up. And then straighten them out. Yeah. Good. So that's a good competition. I'm just sitting in the grass yeah. right now, and I thought this would be a great time to record. Anyway, so I had my appointment today with Dr. Paul Winston, and when I first got there, I saw the their pre-med students, uh, and they took the measurements of my range of motion today, and then they compared them to my range of motion that I had pre cryo which was march 1st until it today is july what day is it today so it's july 5th um so every range of motion that i did has doubled since my last appointment so say i was able to do something at like 20 degrees so this is obviously zero, and then this is 90, right? Yeah, zero and 90. Um, you know, before my cryo, I was at 20, and then today when they did measurements, I was at like 40. Is that 40? 40. So everything doubled, which is just crazy. And Dr. Winston was also saying that he doesn't have funding for next season which kind of made me upset because this treatment is obviously working i'm not the only patient that has had this treatment and has seen the wonders you know i've watched his documentary and i'll put the link of that below but his documentary i want to say like 80 percent of his patients start bawling because it's so it's just so drastic. He also told me that he's noticed in stroke patients that we don't need to have injections again. I will say though, too, is that if you are waiting for this treatment, it hurts, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna be like, you know, you just feel a little bit of pressure. No, bitch, it hurts. Dr. Winston gives you the option of taking some medications before that he'll send you a prescription for, I think I got Ativan, so just to kind of relax you. But he wants you fully awake to be able to respond to the injections. Surprise, surprise, at the end of my appointment, I was just blabbing and I was like, oh my god, you know, and it's so great and I just love you. And it was just funny because I do, I really absolutely admire and respect Dr. Winston. He does such amazing work. So if you are watching this video, tell your doctors about this treatment. Tell them or bring just awareness so then they can offer it because Dr. Winston says that he has a lot of people flying into Victoria for the injections. He obviously would rather have it more of a global impact not just a local impact in you know bc so if you're watching this video and you're kind of on the edge of oh like you know crowd talk to your doctor i'm not a doctor i am just someone i'm a stroke patient who's had a cryo neurolysis cryo neurolyte i don't know i have to say that wrong every time but cryo nor nor cryo neurolysis oh well, that's cool talk to your team and just bring up and say hey do you know anything about this and maybe they just like i said awareness